powerful earthquake, 6.7, that has hit Indonesia. Now, uh, it's huge. 6.7 earthquake, just miles from the Bali volcano. Uh, Indonesia has been hit by this huge earthquake, just miles from where the Mount Agung, Agung volcano in Bali is. And now there's a major risk of an eruption. You guys, you know, we've been waiting and waiting, waiting for that thing to erupt, and it hadn't yet. Well, this could be a very, very bad sign. This 6.7 magnitude quake hit this morning just between the Pacific and the Indian Oceans there off the coast of Indonesia. It landed in the Ring of Fire, so-called, because this huge number of earthquakes, of course, and volcanic eruptions that take place there all the time. The quake, which did heat, it, but here's the good news. No tsunami, because this thing was 542 kilometers deep. I mean, deep, deep, deep in the ocean. Um, uh, and then uh, it, was, it is not known if there's any injuries from this, but, uh, because they still felt this thing. I mean, I don't care how deep it is. Uh, they definitely felt it in Indonesia. Now, Bali's volcano, Mount Agung, has recorded a drop in seismic activity this week. So some folks thought the risk of an, e of an eruption was starting to subside. But the volcano has been at the minimum level for more than a month, which after, after 200,000 people had already evacuated because they told it it was going to blow at any time. Now you have a, a 6.7 earthquake only 60 miles from the uh, epicenter. The epicenter is only 60 miles from the volcano. So now you start to wonder. This means the magma is probably, no doubt, has been moving. Now the tectonic plate is moving. Could this 6.7 earthquake that just hit there, could it uh, trigger and, uh, and, and cause this volcano to erupt so the seismologists really got their work cut out for them they're trying to figure out what in the world to do here it's a dangerous situation we're going to stay on top of the story this morning and continue to watch what's going on and the pressure from the sun of course and i and i was saying yesterday look out i'm expecting a major quake within 24 hours because of that the pressure that, that uh, the earth was going to feel from those uh, CMEs that released from those solar flares after the comet dove into the sun. So it looks like that's come to pass. Here it is, a 6.7 earthquake. We'll continue to watch all these things close. Stay with me. I'll stay on top of all these things and a whole lot more. The Bible said that there would be, uh, you know, false Christ and false prophets would rise and they would, and, and, and they shall deceive many. You shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. The end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There would be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Matter of fact, I did a television uh, show. It actually was two television shows called The Seven Prophetic Earthquakes, which, wow, you should study how important they are in the Bible. We're in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll see you today. I'll be live I just got home. I didn't get home till 3.30 in the morning due to plane that maintenance problem in a plane in Atlanta, and they scrapped the flight. They made us wait for two and a half hours before they could get us another plane. So it was a long night last night, but we're back, and I'll see you at 12 noon. God bless. The <laughs> 